Hey everyone, welcome back for more Dragon Ball The Breakers. Just um, going through these characters. Yeah, you can tell I play more of a Cell when it came out. I know the next two new ones, the two new ones, the two new skins for Cell. It's silver and gold. Nothing new. I like these. These are like put more effort into. I mean, they're reskin colors. Like that was from Budokai Tech Psyche 2 or 1, whatever. Kind of color skins you get with them. So, I mean, Freezer, I haven't done much with him. And you can tell with Manjibu. <clears throat> so, when it comes to him, you finish him off. That's it. Freezer, same thing. Same thing with Majibu. So these three, he's on the same category. Category. And same thing with Broly. Broly, the more you attack him, the more he gets. <sighs> these are only two. You defeat Cyberman, you get Nappa, then you get Vegeta. And if you don't finish him off, you deal with his great eight size. And then you get the Ginyu Force. Defeat him, then you got Raccoon, then you got Chase and Birder, then you got Ginyu. Like, eh, okay. It's not bad. It's a... It's a good game. The only downfall I get from this game is that you come against a group that plays together in a team. Like, they had headphones on, they were communicating with each other 100% of the time, and anything they do. And, look, it takes more skills to play with a, um, a group that you don't normally work with. Like, let's just say it's just a random person, or random players. That's more challenging than playing with friends. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing to play with friends. I mean, don't get me wrong. Yeah, it's it's it helps you win matches and everything. But in the long run, in the long run, run you're going to be dependent on your friends more than then your skills, or your survivor skills, so on and so forth. That's why when you play kind of like Fortnite, it's it's good to play with teams. But if you're like a solo person, it's going to be hard for you to play with teams because, you know, oh, what am I supposed to do? I'm so used to playing by myself. I'm always thinking of myself and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, it's not that easy in, uh, in a game like this. I never thought that this game would still be up and going. I actually thought that this game be going down the drain. It, look, the one thing it's missing is offline mode. They should have it where you could be able to play offline mode, play against bots, and go up against different stories in the game. You know, like scenarios and everything. And you play as the raider. You play as the raider, hide down the uh, different characters in the game, AI characters, and then, you know, they transform these other characters from Dragon Ball C. You know? Of course, people would be saying, Well, if I did that, then, you know, I might as well just get the game seen at first, too. I know where you're coming from. I understand. But that's not what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say is that it's nothing wrong 
playing the game against AI. Because you do it already. If you play God of War, you play Gears of War, you play God of War, and when you play the game offline, that's it. You play Crash Bandicoot, you play against AI. You play any game that doesn't require you to play online, you're playing against AI. The game is brought up as it is. But, you know, they want to make it where you're connecting online. Do you know that when you're playing the game offline, I mean online, and you're playing against AI, it's connected to the internet and it's connected to the company. Now, the company's server has a certain AI that detects and knows what's going on. So it'll make the game harder on you if it wants to, to get you to either buy more, you know, subscription, or buy some more microtraction, action, anything. And um, I'm telling you, not very much people know about these things. It's a, uh, it's, 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 it's kind of scummy. They don't want to make games online. I mean, they don't want to make games offline. It's because they can't make more money. But it's not true. They, 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 they want to do something kind of like what Fortnite's doing. Epic Games. They want to be like the, the newest Epic Games. These gaming companies. But it's, they're doing it all wrong. You see, what they're doing is, the game is being built that is free to play, play, free to play, and the microtransactions are there for you if you want to buy the skins or not. And if you're one of the people who own the foundations or, or own anything, you could get free bucks. You could work towards getting free free bucks. But the thing is, you gotta keep up with it. I'm just wanna tell you is, you know, it's crazy. It's really, really crazy. You know, um, when I was a kid growing up, a game is a game. You went on your way, you bought the game, and that's it. It's been like that since the beginning of Nintendo, the Game Boy, Nintendo, up to Sega, to PlayStation, to Nintendo 64, to GameCube, to PS2, Xbox, to Xbox 360, to PS3, to what do you call it? PlayStation 4 to Xbox One and then um, you 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 get what I'm trying to say. And yes, I left out Dreamcast and other games consoles. But the thing is so many game consoles came out before then and when you bought the game, you got the game. You got everything to go with it, and that's it. It didn't give you everything because you had to buy, you know, like for example, um, there's certain games that has a certain stuff that the other same game didn't have. Like if it was like Ultima Lines 2, you got Blade, you got Psylocke for the PlayStation 2, and then you got Psylocke, I mean Cyclops. And then the Xbox, you had, well, the original game. And then if you get the PlayStation 3 game, Ultima Lines 2, you have certain characters. You know, there's just certain characters you get in games. And now, ever since, you know, Michael Trash Action's been pushing into the games, been put into the games nonstop, it's just, it's been a big issue. 
And now companies are just coming out and just saying that all they care about is making more money. They don't care about your server. They don't care about you putting out a good game. If a game has a label, you know, Halo, or any games that are like major, you know, a travelable good game, they would want that out there and just slap a label on it and say it's a good game and just put out false information. And then when people buy the game, they're disappointed. If you listen to YouTubers out there, they're talking about the games out there these days, how these games are just trashing, crashing, and burning. And they say, oh, we'll just fix it later. <sighs> We're just getting them off. We're letting them get off scot-free. And you know, companies these days need to be held accountable for putting games out. Dang, man, that's huge. Whew. Hey, look, it's a Master Roshi version. Oolong, what the heck? Kind of makes me wonder, why in the world, man, have we not got the chance to have different grace like in the making ends okay thanks i gotta hurry oh crap oh crap oh crap oh crap oh crap Get you! I want to leave. You intend to rescue them. Watch out for enemies. You be frenemies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not funny. You found a power key. Go slot it. <clears throat> oh man, kind of reminds me of that funny video Flash Kids did. Mickey Mouse, trying to meet, uh, what's his name? Vegeta. Ha ha! What's up? How's it going? Uh, look it up. Look it up. It's called Flash Kids Dragon Ball C. Or something like that. Something to laugh about. Oh, man. So, you know, you get two strikes, and then that's it. You did. There's no three strikes, you're out. Kind of makes me wonder. Why? A super transfer is headed your way. Take it now. Eh, nah, nah, nah. I'm good. Hello, hoo hoo. Shabam. He's turning into Vegeta. Oh, man. Dang, man, they're tearing him up. Well, anyone, anybody watches my video, like anyone watch my last video, it teaches you how to find your opponents. Well, kind of, okay. Think about this. Your plan is Broly. You're not going to sense where they're at. You don't know where they're at. You can't find them. You got no scouter. 
And if you get those little things, you know, um, Dragon Radar, only you can detect it's the civilians. Still, you don't know where they're at. So, it's still a waste of um, somewhat time. Oh crap, oh crap. Get in! Nee. This in. Hello! Didn't mean to destroy your house. Change! So those things that we keep getting, man, it, uh, it helps you, you know, the DP, the, the more you get it, the more you get a free jump up, well, extra points or whatever, I grab. I believe I could do this. Now, the way, the way my character design the way I got her ass is that the pants, the shoes, the coat, the gloves, it fits pretty well. And I like it. It's a good design. It's a really, really good taste of clothing. Fashion. <laughs> what are you, a rarity? Ah, uh, that big brute. Destroys half the stinking planet. Just to make sure you just to get one of us. I'll do that. When the time comes. Do 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 no no no. What am I gonna do from here? Do do do. You can't save him if he's still nearby. He'll just attack you. Just no hesitation. And this wouldn't happen, man, if they gave me this thinking instant transmission, like I've well been doing since season one. And they say, no, 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 that's not true. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Come on! I love the help, but I gotta level up. Beep. One more. Come on! Give me frenemies. Oh, he killed him. That's a new power key. Place it now. <laughs> Smart. Beep. Beep. Man. There was a close one, boys, cuz. Change! This is like the smartest thing ever. Turn into a little small little thing. Be like, yeah, can't get me. You don't know I'm here. You don't know. You don't know. You'll never know. Like, come on. Who expects a little item like that? Change! Doesn't even know I'm nearby. Just doesn't even know. I've sent a new super train <laughs> Sorry, that'll have to be for now. Uh, 
That was insane. Yeah. Uh, you know what to do with that key. Well, that was a big bummer. That's a new power key. Place it now. I don't like where this is going. An ally needs your help. You don't know what danger awaits. Think before rushing in. This is bad. Somebody's down. Exercise extreme caution if you're going to help them. Now I think he's getting it. Okay. Ah, no, leave me alone, you big bully. Change. Don't even know where I'm at, huh? Can't sense me. <laughs> can't sense me, can't sense me. Nah, 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 nah. <sighs> gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Jeez. Okay, stay calm. Oh, come on. Seriously? I didn't even transform? What is that? I like, I fly up there and usually when you get hit, you transform. It's like, new. No. It just, it blows white through all that crap and just said, frick you. <laughs> uh. Oh, and be aware. This game is starting to become now um, cross-platform, so when you play against PC gamers, they most likely they're gonna cheat this system. They don't care. Oh well. Eat my missile! Eat my blast. Eat my shorts. Yeah, you know, the lock on deal doesn't work anymore. You have to be really, really extreme close. Just, uh, do your blast. Say, so, gabba da la Time man, the other three get out there to help him. Good. I sent you a super transfer. Close. Use it to hold the enemy back. Like yep. He's down. Ignore the power keys. Get out of there. There's a beacon where the blue light is. Do you see it? Head that way fast. Well, they got about two and a half minutes. So they can actually take him down. One of them's got to get the spear, and um, all three of them could just gain up on him. Dang. Thank goodness. <sighs> yeah, they're not gonna win this. Hello. What are you doing? Are you gonna hear me? Use your stupid ability! <laughs> 
<laughs> That's funny. Yeah, he's down. Watch out for enemies. <sighs> well, it's not as known to you, sir. It's the Benny. <laughs> Eddie the Spooky. <laughs> if they went with Ed, Ed, Eddie, it'd be funny. <laughs> Ed, Ed, Eddie. Look at that! He's being distraction. Funny. He does his blast. His... Time okay, well. Never mind. The escape time machine is back. Sadie, you're going down, Thank man. Goodness. Thirty-four seconds. Three. Thirty seconds now. It's gonna happen. Are you gonna make it? Are you gonna make it? Let's see what's gonna happen. It's got 20 seconds. Oh! Wow, that was close. Scary! Why didn't they win? It's funny, he's trying to hit a little dude. Yep, yep, didn't escape. Ugh. Hey everyone, I'm gonna just say this. You think they need to just add more voices to him? Not this. When they, you know what they need to do? Get teams four star. Get team four star. Get them to do this. Get them to do the voices. It'd be nice. I mean, come on. Why not? Get some funny comedian characters in it, man. If they could get DBC, team four star, and Devil Artemis to do the voices of the characters, oh my goodness, this game be blown crazy be funny as heck people would want to play the game for the sheer fun of it like go watch Dragon Ball Z the bridge or team Sto four star and go look up devil Artemis. they could do some funny videos voice actors for these characters and they could get so many people who want to play this game even more but anyways, um, this would do for now. Tune in next time for more Dragon Ball C, The Breakers.